Brainwise presents Grade 3, Math, Quizby, Part 2 Beep beep! Math alert! This is a special bulletin for all super smart cookies out there. Brainwise is bringing you a math quiz that's out of this world. Get ready for a brain-boosting adventure filled with fun puzzles and tricky questions. Think you can handle the challenge? Buckle up, Brainiacs, and let's blast off on this math-tastic journey. Easy round. Number one. A bag of apples weighs one kilogram. A bag of oranges weighs 800 grams. How much heavier is the bag of apples than the bag of oranges? Again, a bag of apples weighs one kilogram. A bag of oranges weighs 800 grams. How much heavier is the bag of apples than the bag of oranges? The choices are A. 800 grams B. 200 grams C. 800 grams D. 1,200 grams The correct answer is B. 200 grams Number 2 A bathtub has 150 liters of water If 50 liters are drained out How much water is left in the bathtub? Again a bathtub has 150 liters of water. If 50 liters are drained out, how much water is left in the bathtub? The choices are A. 50 liters B. 100 liters C. 200 liters D. 120 liters The correct answer is B. 100 liters Number 3 Two squares are joined together to form a rectangle If each square has a side length of 3 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? Again, two squares are joined together to form a rectangle If each square has a side length of 3 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? The choices are A. 18 centimeters B. 24 centimeters C. 12 centimeters D 36 centimeters The correct answer is A 18 centimeters Number 4 A square piece of paper is folded in half to form a rectangle if the perimeter of the square was 20 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? Again, a square piece of paper is folded in half to form a rectangle. If the perimeter of the square was 20 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? The choices are A. 10 centimeters B. 15 centimeters C. 20 centimeters D. 30 centimeters The correct answer is B. 15 centimeters Number 5 A bottle holds 1 liter of juice Emily drinks 150 milliliters of juice Later, she pours 400 milliliters of water into the bottle How much liquid is in the bottle now? Again, a bottle holds 1 liter of juice Emily drinks 150 milliliters of juice Later, she pours 400 milliliters of water into the bottle how much liquid is in the bottle now? The choices are A. 350 milliliters B. 650 milliliters C. 1050 milliliters D. 1150 milliliters The correct answer is D. 1,150 milliliters Woohoo! You guys cruised through the easy round like math superstars! But don't get too comfy because things are about to get trickier! Are you ready for the average round? I bet you are! Let's see if you can keep that amazing energy going! Average round 
Number 1. A movie starts at 15 p.m. and ends at 4.05 p.m. How long is the movie? Again. A movie starts at 15 p.m. and ends at 4.05 p.m. How long is the movie? The choices are A. 1 hour and 50 minutes B. 1 hour and 40 minutes C. 2 hours and 10 minutes D. 1 hour and 30 minutes The correct answer is A. 1 hour and 50 minutes Number 2. A train is 100 meters long. It enters a tunnel that is 350 meters long. The train travels at a speed of 50 meters per second. How long does it take for the entire train to pass completely through the tunnel? Again, a train is 100 meters long. It enters a tunnel that is 350 meters long. The train travels at a speed of 50 meters per second. How long does it take for the entire train to pass completely through the tunnel? The choices are A. 4 seconds B. 5 seconds C. 9 seconds D. 10 seconds The correct answer is C. 9 seconds Number 3. For bags of flour are weighed, the first weighs 1 kilogram, the second weighs double the first, the third weighs half the weight of the second, and the fourth weighs 500 grams more than the third. What is the total weight of all the bags in grams? Again, for bags of flour are weighed, the first weighs 1 kilogram, the second weighs double the first, the third weighs half the weight of the second, and the fourth weighs 500 grams more than the third. What is the total weight of all the bags in grams? The choices are A. 5,000 grams B. 5,500 grams C. 6,000 grams D. 6,500 grams The correct answer is B. 5,500 grams Number 4. A rectangular playground is divided into two equal sections. One section is a sandbox and the other section is covered in grass. If the playground is 12 meters long and 8 meters wide, what is the area of the grassy section? Again, a rectangular playground is divided into two equal sections. One section is a sandbox and the other section is covered in grass. If the playground is 12 meters long and 8 meters wide, what is the area of the grassy section? The choices are A. 96 square meters B. 48 square meters C. 20 square meters D. 40 square meters The correct answer is B. 48 square meters Number 5 A bus leaves Tauna at 10 a.m. and arrives at Town B at 1.30 p.m. If the bus makes a 20-minute stop halfway through the trip, how long is the actual driving time? Again, a bus leaves Tauna at 10 a.m. and arrives at Town B at 1.30 p.m. If the bus makes a 20-minute stop halfway through the trip, how long is the actual driving time? The choices are A. 3 hours B. 3 hours and 10 minutes C. 3 hours and 30 minutes D. 3 hours and 50 minutes
The correct answer is B. 3 hours and 10 minutes. Wow! You guys are math wizards! The average round definitely didn't slow you down. But now it's time for the ultimate challenge. The difficult round. Get ready to flex those brain muscles because these questions are going to be tough. Good luck! You got this! Difficult round. Number 1. A snail crawls 5 centimeters every 10 seconds. It needs to travel 1 meter to reach its food. How many minutes will it take the snail to reach its food? Again, a snail crawls 5 centimeters every 10 seconds. It needs to travel 1 meter to reach its food. How many minutes will it take the snail to reach its food? The choices are A. 2 minutes B. 3 minutes and 20 seconds C. 5 minutes D. 20 minutes The correct answer is B. 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Number 2. On Monday, the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. On Tuesday, it was 5 degrees Celsius warmer than Monday. On Wednesday, it was 3 degrees Celsius colder than Tuesday. What was the temperature on Wednesday? Again. On Monday, the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. On Tuesday, it was 5 degrees Celsius warmer than Monday. On Wednesday, it was 3 degrees Celsius colder than Tuesday. What was the temperature on Wednesday? The choices are A. 12 degrees Celsius B. 22 degrees Celsius C. 25 degrees Celsius D. 28 degrees Celsius The correct answer is B. 20 to degrees Celsius. Number 3. A rectangular garden has an area of 36 square meters. One side of the garden is from meters long. A fence is built around the garden with posts placed one meter apart. How many fence posts are needed? Again, a rectangular garden has an area of 36 square meters. One side of the garden is from meters long. A fence is built around the garden with posts placed one meter apart. How many fence posts are needed? The choices are A. 30 B. 26 C. 28 D. 32 The correct answer is B. 26. Number 4. A bakery makes cakes, cookies, and muffins. They sell twice as many cookies as cakes and three times as many muffins as cookies. If they sell 10 cakes, how many more muffins than cakes do they sell? Again, a bakery makes cakes, cookies, and muffins. They sell twice as many cookies as cakes and three times as many muffins as cookies. If they sell 10 cakes, how many more muffins than cakes do they sell? The choices are A. 40 B. 50 C. 60 D. 70 
The correct answer is B. 50. Number 5. A rectangular garden has a perimeter of 30 meters. If the length of the garden is 10 meters, what is the area of the garden? Again, a rectangular garden has a perimeter of 30 meters. If the length of the garden is 10 meters, what is the area of the garden? The choices are A. 15 square meters B. 50 square meters C. 100 square meters D. 150 square meters The correct answer is B. 50 square meters. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You've made it through all three rounds of our math quiz challenge. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome learning adventures. Keep those brains buzzing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! How did you go? Let me know in the comments below how many questions you got right. Check out other videos from BrainWise.